let's understand about some of the standard units of measurement. Now, in the ancient times, there were no measuring units which were there. Until in 1790, when the French created the metric system. So what happened is that in the ancient time, people used to see that the distance was measured through fingers. So let's say this was the palm of your hand. Okay. You would try to measure the distance between the thumb and the fifth finger. And take this as one unit. Then again, you would put your thumb at this point. And measure it towards the end of the little finger and do so on and then use this as a base to measure the other quantity or some people also used their footsteps as a unit of measurement of length so first he will put in the point at the starting point take it here then move this leg Take it to the first point, okay, so that this becomes the starting point and then this becomes the second point. And let's say this was two units. So somewhere they use their hand, distance between the legs and other means. To measure quantity, they used to measure as to how much can you hold in your one hand. For quantity, hold in one hand. So that was taken as the standard unit of measurement. However, the limitation of this form was that as we know, the size of hand of a person can vary. Someone can have a bigger hand and someone may have a smaller hand. In different parts of the world the size of the hands or the palm as you call it is different. Similarly a person who is six feet tall will definitely have the distance between the leg much more than a person who is three feet tall. And therefore there were differences which were evident in terms of the measurement. So in 1790 the French develop what is today called the metric system. Now metric system is basically one of the standard unit of standard units for measurement The standard unit of measurement which is now used is known as International Systems of Unit or the SI unit. The unit of length in this case is length is measured in meters. Now the unit of measure of length in meters is not completely sacrosanct. It depends on what you want to measure. So let's say if you want to measure a pencil, instead of meter, what you use is centimeter. If you have to measure distances, instead of meters, you use kilometers. Now let us see the conversion of meters into these two units. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. 
okay and each centimeter is further divided into 10 millimeter centimeter this is millimeter and also 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters so let's say if you have to measure cloth you will use meters right as I told you to measure the length of a pencil you use centimeter to measure distances you use kilometers okay so these are the standard units of measurement 